Hi guys, so welcome to um, my vlog. For today's video, we are going to solve um, problems on derivative or differentiation. So there's a problem here. There are two questions and we are asked to solve for its derivative. But before we are going to solve it, I'm going to present you first uh, different differentiation rules. Okay? Um, these will be our guide to solve for the derivative of these functions. So first rule is that we have the constant rule. What do we mean by this constant rule? It states class that the derivative of any constant number with respect to C is always equal to zero. So for example, we have the derivative of 1 million, derivative of 1 billion, okay, um, equals to zero ang mga yon. Okay? So next one is the identity rule. Okay? Identity rule. So, sabi tan, the derivative of x with respect to x is always equal to 1. Okay? Number 3, we have the constant, constant, multiple, okay? We have the derivative of ku, with respect to x, wherein this k class is a constant number, and this u here is a differentiable function of x. Okay? Ang gagawin mo lang dyan is, you separate the k, gagawin mong multiplier si k, that constant number, times, kunin mo yung derivative ni u mo, with respect to x. Okay? Example, um, given function 3 x. So, constant mo si 3, x mo is yung u mo. Okay? So, if you're going to solve for its first derivative, so that is your y prime, so, i-separate ko si 3 times, so, gagawin ko siyang multiplier, no? We solve for the derivative of your x with respect to x, and that is 3 times, diba, d of x with respect to x, um, that's under identity rule, wherein that is equal to 1. So, that is equal to 3. Therefore, class, um, the derivative of the function 3x is equal to 3. Ganun lang siya. Okay? Number 4, we have the sum and the difference rule. Okay? Sum and difference rule. And sabi doon, the derivative of u plus v with respect to x, wherein u and v are both um, um, differentiable function of x, so, ang gagawin mo lang class is, i-derive mo muna si u, okay, with respect to x, and then, i-plus mo siya or minus sa derivative ni v with respect to x. So, example, given y equals 3x plus 1. So, if you're going to solve for its derivative, okay, that function, so, gawin mo lang class is y prime equals derivative ni 3x with respect to x plus the derivative of 1 with respect to x. So, derivative of 3x is, okay, apply natin si constant multiple rule. So, that's 3 times v of x all over dx plus the derivative of 1, that is the derivative of a constant, that is 0. Okay, so we know class that 3 times the dx of x is identity rule that is equal to 1, so plus 0, and that is equal to 3. So the derivative of 3x plus 1 class, that is equal to 3. So that is for the sum and difference rule. Okay, next rule is we have the product rule. Okay, magulo tong pagkakasulat ko, pero dapat sumunod kayo. Okay, so anong sabi doon? That is the derivative of uv, wherein uv are both differentiable function of x, okay, with respect to x. Magbumultiply, there are two terms class, magbumultiply sila kaya product rule. Ang, ang formula dyan is u times the derivative of v with respect to x plus v times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, para may uh, 
Memorize nyo, you use U, D, V, plus V, D, U. Yung U is the first term, the V is the second term. Okay? So, example. Um, find the derivative of 5x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. Okay? So, product yan kasi magmumultiply si first term at second term. So, my u here is 5x plus 1. And then, my v here is 2x minus 3. So, ang y prime natin is, di ba, that is u dv plus v du. So, kailangan kong hanapin si derivative ni u and then hanapin ko si derivative ni v and then salpak-salpak na lang. So, my u here is 5x plus 1 and then ang derivative ni u, so derivative ni 5x plus 1, so 5, constant multiple rule, times derivative of x is 1, di ba? Plus the derivative of 1 is 0. So, the derivative of u class is 5. So, dito naman sa derivative of v natin, that is 2x minus 3, 2 times derivative ni x is 1 based on identity rule. So, minus 3, the, um, the derivative of 3 is 0. So, that means the derivative of v class is 2 minus 0 is 2. Then, salpak-salpak na natin sa ating formula. So, magiging u, what is my u here? That is 5x plus 1 times the derivative of v that is 2 plus v, 2x minus 3 times the derivative of u, that is 5. Then simplify further, 5x times 2, that is 10x, 1 times 2, that is 2, plus 2x times 5, that is 10x, the negative 3 times 5, that is negative 15. Simplifying further, 10x plus 10x, that is 20x, then 2 minus 15, that is negative 13. Okay? Therefore, the first derivative of 5x plus 1 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 20x minus 13. Okay? Pwede nyong balik-balikan yan. Next, we have the quotient rule. Lagay ko dito sa side. Okay? Quotient rule. So, pag quotient, sagot to sa um, division. So, you have a numerator and a denominator. So, derivative of u all over v with respect to x. So, anong, so, anong formula doon? Um, unahin mo class si v times the derivative of your numerator with respect to x minus to ha u or the numerator times the der derivative of your denominator with respect to x all over the square of the denominator. Okay. Yung lagi kong tinuturo ni mnemonics, so for example, you have your numerator high, denominator low. For you to memorize it, um, formula niya is, syempre, pag may idol ka, you call him or her Lodi. Okay. So Lodi high minus high D low all over low low or low squared. So, low times the derivative ni high minus high minus times the derivative ni low all over the square of the denominator or low squared. Okay? Low di high minus high di low all over low squared. Okay? Example given. Y is equal to 5x plus 1 all over 2x minus 3. So, ito lang yung given din class. Okay, 5x plus 1, pero ginawa ko siyang fraction. So, y prime class is, okay, ano yung law natin? Ano yung law natin? Law, 2x minus 3. Ito, di ba? 2x minus 3 times derivative ni high. So, that is, derivative ni numerator is 5. Minus high. Ano si high natin? Wait, saan na tayo? Minus high is 5x plus 1 times derivative ni law, that is 2. Okay? All over the square of the denominator. So, simplifying further, um, 5 times 2x, that is 10x minus 15 minus, okay, you have to distribute the sign dito, ah? 10x, okay, 
plus 2. All over 2x minus 3 squared. Okay? Simplifying further. Ano lang natin? Pataas lang natin. So, 10x minus 15 minus 10x distributes the negative sign minus 2. All over 2x minus 3 squared. So, 10x minus 10x will be cancelled out. Negative 15 minus negative 2, that is negative 17 all over 2x minus 3 squared. So, that is your y prime. Okay? So, that's how to use the quotient rule. So, low d high minus high d low all over low squared. And the last rule, we're in also a very important na kailangan yung ma uh, kabisa is the power rule. Anong sabi sa power rule? Um, that is the derivative of u raised to n with respect to x. And that is, you just copy the exponent. Your u is the base or the function differentiable to x. Okay? you then subtract one from your exponent and then you get the derivative of your function with respect to x. So parang baba, copy the base, minus one, derivative of the base. So if you're going to solve that uh, problem, for example, we have y, 5x plus 1 raised to 3. So y prime now is your exponent class is 3. So bring down 3, bring down the exponent, Copy the base, so you have your 5x plus 1, 3 minus 1. Okay, subtract 1 from your exponent, so magiging 2. There times the derivative of your function, so derivative of 5x plus 1, so that is 5. Okay, so multiply or simplify, 3 times 5, that is 15 times 5x plus 1 squared. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to solve these questions. The derivative of y, 15x raised to 20, minus 4x minus, raised to negative 5, plus 5x minus 45, and the cube root of x squared times 2x minus x squared.